Moog would get some revenge a little later. The league's speedy skaters lined up along the goal line, and the man wearing the black and gold finished ahead of everyone else. The black and gold of Pittsburgh, that is, is Paul Coffey. Takes the honors as the NHL's fastest man. He won't defend his title next year, though. He said the event left him with sore groin muscles. Moving to the accurate shot challenge, the Oilers. Mark Messier picked off two of the four bullseyes. Enough to win, but not nearly as impressive as Ray Bork's winning performance in this event last year. A Calgary Flame proved to be a flame thrower as Al McGinnis unloaded a shot clock at 94 miles per hour, and he claims the honor of having the NHL's hardest shot. Then it came time for the couple of Bruins to wear the hero's crowns in the Wales Conference, needing a win in the breakaway relay competition. Ray Bork putting wide Billy Ranford put the Whalers ahead. That left it up to Andy Moog looking to gain a measure on revenge against the Chicago Blackhawks' Steve Larmer. And as Larmer skated in, his shot went wide. As Andy Moog and Ray Bork lead the Bruins, the Wales Conference Championship, or not the Wales Conference Championship, but the Wales Conference Championship in the skills competition by 10 points over the Campbell Conference. In a moment, some